Editing is the process of making substantial changes to the content and structure of your written work. During this stage, you may remove unnecessary words or sentences, add new arguments and evidence, or alter the structure of your essay to improve its logical flow. Proofreading usually comes after the editing phase. This is all about checking for errors and making sure you are being consistent throughout your writing. Think of proofreading as the final polishing of your work before you submit it. It might help you to think about writing your assignment in two stages. In the first stage, you're just writing for yourself, getting all of your ideas down and developing your argument as you go. Then, in the second stage, you're writing for your reader. You're considering how easily your work can be followed and understood by someone who hasn't been through the writing process with you and isn't so familiar with all the details of your topic. The second stage is where the editing and proofreading process comes in. Editing allows you to approach your work with a fresh perspective and helps you to make sure you're responding to the assignment brief in the way you want to. By cutting out superfluous words and carefully considering the structure of your writing, your reader will find it easier to follow your line of argument. Meanwhile, careful proofreading eliminates any errors and inconsistencies that might otherwise distract or confuse your reader and therefore detract from the argument you are trying to make. The fact that you've taken care of your work is likely to leave the reader with a better overall impression of it, which may lead to a few extra marks. Each paragraph should stick to one main point, ensuring that your writing remains focused and doesn't wander. Furthermore, it should be clear how that point is relevant to the overall argument you are making throughout your work. You should maintain a logical flow by making sure there are clear links between paragraphs and that they are structured in a sensible order. Finally, you should be precise and say exactly what you mean. Don't generalise or leave your argument open to interpretation. Define any technical terms the first time you introduce them in your writing. Someone from outside your subject area should be able to understand what you're talking about. Similarly, write out any acronyms in full the first time they appear. Your reader should not need to guess what the initials stand for. Avoid using phrasal verbs where possible. For example, instead of the phrasal verb look into, consider using a more academic word such as investigate. Similarly, avoid using contractions. So instead of don't or won't, use do not or will not. Make sure all proper nouns, such as names or organisations, use capital letters at the beginning of the word. Finally, be consistent in your spelling of words that may have alternate spellings and use UK spelling as opposed to US spelling. Now it's time for you to put these tips into practice. Take a paragraph or section of writing from an assignment you're working on at the moment. Using the ideas we've discussed around attention to detail and being clear, direct and precise, read through your work and highlight or underline anything you think should be corrected or made clearer. Pause the video here and come back to it when you are ready to continue. Consider creating a personalised proofreading checklist, including technical terms, acronyms and proper nouns relevant to your subject. You can also add specific questions that you want to remind yourself of while you are proofreading. Try printing off your work and highlighting it with a pen. This change in how you approach your work may help to notice things you didn't see before on the screen. Similarly, you could read your work out loud or use text-to-speech software. Again, this may help to identify mistakes or strange wording in your work. Ask a friend or family member to read your work. Even if they are not familiar with all the technical aspects of your subject, are they able to understand the argument you're trying to make? Think about an assignment you're working on at the moment, or one you have coming up. Start creating a proofreading checklist for the topic. What technical terms, acronyms, proper nouns or difficult spellings will you need to check? What questions do you want to ask yourself regarding the content and structure of your writing? 
Making a list now will really help when it comes to editing and proofreading your work later. Again, pause the video here and come back to it when you're ready to continue. We hope this video has given you some useful tips and ideas for editing and proofreading your work. Remember, the study development team is here to help you with your academic skills if you need any additional guidance.